my name is Beth Hiley here for Board Game Geek and Spiel 17. I'm sitting down with Jacob from Collis from Fix Games, and this is the long-awaited expansion to Terraforming Mars Venus X. You guys had an yeah. expansion map last year, but now this is a, a, a bigger expansion. Yeah, it includes cards, which is uh, what a lot of people have been asking for. Uh, so, uh, Venus Next is uh, our expansion for Terraforming Mars, where uh, the world government has decided it's not enough to terraform only Mars, so we should do Venus 2. They have realized it's possible. Well, possible and possible. Venus is really difficult, and, and so the new uh, terraforming parameter only goes to 30%. And this is done in parallel to terraforming Mars. So what you do is you still terraform Mars, but you can also make efforts on Venus. And that's what the 50 or 49 new project cards are about. That where you colonize Venus and you utilize different things and, and you terraform Venus in different ways. And some of them also interact, of course, with the base game on, on Mars and what's happening in space and all yeah. those kind of things. Uh, so it's a, an additional way to get terraform rating and an additional way to get new strategies and so on. Uh, one of the cool new strategies, I think, is the floater strategy. Uh, many of the cards uh, can collect floaters, and these is, are, are the new resources, the yellow icons with the cloud. And they work uh, mechanically, they work exactly like, uh, for example, animals or microbes. You collect resources on the card, but in this case, these resources represent infrastructure in the Venusian clouds, floating things. Uh, some of these add resources to themselves, but some can also add resources to other floater cards. So that means you have a lot of combos, uh, uh, how you can uh, combine different cards and uh, get uh, really uh, cool things going. How long do you think that this would add to the length of the base game? Nothing. It's awesome. <laughs> it's, an, it's extra things to do, but the world government realizes this and they add extra funding. So each round, they will, each generation, they will uh, do a free step of terraforming. So the first player will decide what the world government does without gaining anything from it. So it pushes the game along about the same time, uh, about the same amount that it, uh, this expansion um, slows it down by having more you know, diverse focus, so to speak. In the expansion, we also have five new corporation cards. Uh, and they are inter they are interacting mostly with uh, Venus and different strategies, but uh, they add some more variety. And finally, we have a new milestone and award. So you place these tiles onto the Mars board to get a sixth milestone and a sixth award. So you have six to choose from and six to choose from with the awards. You still only choose three. So that means that the Venus strategies are well integrated into the game. Yeah. Well, if you guys want to check that out, that is a little sampling of what to expect. If you buy Venus Next, you do need the base game of Terraforming Mars for this. And Jacob, thank you again for letting us take a look. Sure. Thank you.